the man with the alphas. Whoa! Oh, 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 him up! Oh, oh, him up! So I was just having my morning coffee and then all of a sudden I heard a big noise and my fiance said, oh no, it's Chris upstairs. But I saw this lamppost move and my friend Chris's car is parked here. As you can see, it is now part of the lamppost because the man in the Lexus behind uh, just crashed into it. Apparently he wasn't on his phone, he wasn't distracted. Anyway, in today's very unexpected episode, we're gonna buy Chris a new car because Percy the Passat Pig is destined for the scrapyard now. Poor car, did well. And so as you can see, I've now assembled uh, my version of Destiny's Child. <laughs> We've got Chris, whose car it is. Hi. We've got Rory, who no one likes, and Taylor, who everyone loves. Do they? Give me some I sugar. Don't. What we're gonna be doing today, uh, like I said, is finding Chris a vehicle, because Percy is 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 dead. I'm really sad. You are very sad, aren't That's you? What did Percy mean to you, and what did you use Percy for? Our daily driving. Yeah. It was my favorite car, now he's dead. Yeah, because Chris also has an Audi R8 that you use on weekends. It's really reliable and never breaks down. So Chris's R8 has been nothing but trouble, and then to really stick the knife in <laughs> this morning, a man crashed into Percy the pig. Speaking of sticking the knife in, that brings me very nicely onto this week's video sponsor. And that is Kamikoto Knives. That are high quality Japanese steel knives which are made using traditional techniques that date back to the Edo period of Japan. They also come in this beautiful heavy duty ashwood box which makes it the perfect Christmas present, which is just around the corner by the way. But enough talking, let's cook up some steak sandwiches. So while I do that, let me tell you more about these amazing knives. Used by Michelin star chefs around the world, Kamikoto knives feature a single bevel edge, giving them unrivaled sharpness for the cleanest and easiest culinary cuts. These are also gonna be the best steak sandwiches I think we've all had. I apologize in advance to any vegetarians. Who wants a steak sandwich? Me. All right, Rory. So if you want an awesome set of Kamikoto knives for yourselves, then use the code AUTOALEX at checkout to get $50 off your order. I think there's one more knife that we haven't used yet, right? It's this big one. It's the big stabby one. Shall we start with a watermelon? Go on then. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've also brought along a pen pineapple pen. I don't know how to prepare these, but I think you have to chop the head off. There is literally minimal, minimal effort going into this. Genuinely, the best knives you'll ever buy, the best knives I've ever owned. <laughs> so again, if you want the best knives around at a great price and in time for Christmas, then follow the link below and use code AUTOALEX for $50 off. Yeah, anyway, let's go back to the video. Chris, what are the prerequisites? Alex. Yeah? The hat's a bit long. Oh shit, sorry, sorry. What are the prerequisites for the car that you have in mind and budget as well? Talk to us. Right, well, I've drawn up a list. So the first thing that's really important is that it's as good as Percy Pig. Okay. And frankly, you're not gonna do it. Um, thousand pounds. Thousand pounds, which I'm gonna double. So two grand, I'll doubt your rand. Am I? Yeah. Oh. You're not gonna double it, he's, he's giving you I'm doubling grand. it, I'm giving you a grand. Are you? Towards it, yeah. Oh, if I shake more than once, do I get more money at you? If you shake something else, you get a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you want to carry things. You want it to be a nice colour. You want it to have a tow bar. I added that. Taylor put that one on. Yeah, it does. He, he might yeah. get a speedboat at some point. Yeah. Like, what? And then number seven, it needs to be reliable. You've also done a pie chart for everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is... Here we go. I'm, I'm a project manager. So that most of the pie chart is what Alex wants. Yep. Because I don't really get a say in life. Yeah, we're basically going to buy another car for me. Yeah. And then you're going to be happy well, with I've it. got a little segment of what I want. We're going to have a look on Facebook Marketplace, Auto Trader, Gumtree, the wherever works. else, gr Grinder probably. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to find you um, your, your next you. car, your new car, yeah. which we're going to pick up today. So the challenge is find Chris a car and it is, uh, oh, it's, it's quarter three p.m. Good thing we started in the morning. We didn't, yes. Well, we did start because the man crashed into your car oh, yeah, this yeah. morning. Yeah. Chris, do you good. have an idea of what kind of car you'd like? Like, would you like a saloon or an SUV or I, a convertible? I love or... an estate car. I don't want to say I was already looking at an estate car, Chris, but how about... An E-Class? Yeah. I'm not 70 years For old. For two already. grand? But it's two grand. I've found the car. 
This it's is economical. This is the best car. It's a 2009 oh. Jaguar X-Type oh. Estate. 2.2 litre turbo diesel manual with a tow bar. Oh. And it's eleven £1 hundred pounds. No, what? What? One hundred and twenty-five thousand miles. Here I am selling my wonderful Jaguar engine, two point two diesel. The car is impeccable condition. The car is ready for every race. I'm going to message him. Also, I found something, Chris. What? You said you didn't want a Mondeo. Oh. How about a Mondeo? <laughs> car comes with. BC Racing coilovers, large front mount intercooler, Ford Focus ST25 in brackets, ASBO front brakes, BBS CH rep oh, wheels, like, those. like mine on Barney, my yeah. uh, 330, yeah. DCAT to straight through exhaust, EGR delete with silicon intake pipe, remapped but got no proof, open to offers, and that is 2350. And look at it, Chris. It's sporty, it's fast. Can I just point yeah. out one thing? Oh, what? This Jag, oh, we just just quickly, this Jag is exactly the same as that Mondeo underneath. Is it? Except it's it less than half the price well, that, and that car, it's an estate. And it, yeah. That, that so car's I'm, quite individual, which is a nice way of saying chavy. What is your opinion on a mini clubman? No. Good, good answer. Sorry. I just, I Rory. Just, I, I was checking, I was I, checking. One strike. You want something that carries things and people. So what about a Ford Dorchester? Is it a limo? Yes. Chris, okay. I have found you a 2007. Oh my God, look at that. 93 X gone, give it to you. One grand. It's got roof bars and it's got a tow bar. It's got a Fiat. I like, I like that one. Yeah. What about? A red Volvo V50 R <gasps> design. Oh, shut up. Oh. Cam belt kit changed at 97K. New EGR and suspension arms recently done. Good spec, heated seats. Drives on pulls great. Three owners, two keys, HPR clear. Is it a nice Message colour? Him. It's red. Have that is a color? good looking car. Uh, look at that, Chris. I think I've done it. Oh, Rory, that's the most boring thing I've ever seen. Oh, could this be strike three? No. This is a boring wait, box. If maybe. you don't want to get kicked out, I'd go and find something. Else. Wait, 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 wait. Oh god, it's so ugly. It hits the list, doesn't it? Chris? One daily. Can't get more daily than that. No. Yeah, I think you need to put that on the list. Oh. Eight. Oh what? What's happened? Oh, it's got a tow bar. Oh, got a tow bar. <gasps> wow. The, the Volvo's messaged me. Back. <gasps> What's he saying? <laughs> is it the red Volvo? He said, oh, it's my Tinder. Don't look. At <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the red one. He said, "Yes, mate. I've just listed it." Can we call him immediately? Chris, while he does that, yeah. are you excited about this Saab 9.3? Wow, that looks like a drug dealer car. Yes. That's perfect for a daily car. Oh the look. guy with the Volvo sent me his number. <gasps> Let's phone him immediately. Does it drive nicely? Is all the tracking straight? No knocks and bangs or anything like that? No knocks, no squeaks, no bangs. It's all straight. I'll be honest, we've got a budget of 1,800 quid. No, I couldn't do it, mate. Could you get any close to that? No, so we got oh, no, no. Alfa Romeo oh. 159 Sport Wagon. Oh. 2.4 JTDM. Yeah. Is that economical? Oh, that is a five cylinder turbo <gasps> diesel. <gasps> oh. So it'll make five cylinder noise. Well, so these cars don't come up for sale often. It's true, there's only four. Because they're normally broken. <gasps> that one is oh. so nice. It's a little bit above budget. Can we knock them down? But look at it, Chris. That's that nice. Is oh, is that a diesel? I don't know. I didn't get is that, that far. Whatever. Can I check number seven reliable? Because I had the 145 Cloverleaf. What happened to that one? You crashed it. No, I had a little, <laughs> had a little running out of oil incident. Oh, that's because you don't maintain your car. We need something that maintains itself. Try and get their phone number. Look at that. It's in Sheffield. Yeah, that's fine. We'll fly up there. Up, 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 yeah, up, up, up. What? I've found one for two grand. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Where is, is it? As nice as that one. <gasps> it? Tow bar? <laughs> Look at him go. Tow bar? This one. No, no, no. <laughs> tow bar. This one, right. I'm invested. It's the same as that one, but it is the 2.4 <gasps> JTD 210 brake. Oh, so it's got a five wait. cylinder diesel in it. <gasps> It's and got a little a small bit of scabbing. Bit of rust, and yeah. it's only oh, two grand, oh. and it's in Chippenham. That's uh, near Clarkson's Farm. Are we all agreeing then that the 159 seems to be the, the one that oh. we're all getting excited about? I yeah. found a 159 Estate oh. diesel for 1200 quid in Blackpool. Oh, for f. I love Blackpool. We are never going to Blackpool. <laughs> I love Blackpool. <gasps> the man with the alphas. Oh, 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 oh
Yeah, I know. It was really cool. What big a fing phone, mate? He's probably broken. You've down. just given us your number! It's probably cut out. Hello, mate, it's Taylor. I'm calling about the Alfa Romeo you got for sale. Just wanted to ask a few questions about it, really. What's it like in general? Is it, um, you know, is it mechanically sound, bodywork wise, yeah, things I mean, like that? Yeah, generally, it's a pretty tidy car, mate. It's got a little, little bit of a uh, little patch of rust on the passenger's front wheel arch. It seems fine. I mean, I've been driving it around, got plenty of power, decent bit of pull on it. Um, it's got a tuning box in it, like one of those sort of chip things. Yeah. Um, so it, does, it gives it a bit of black smoke when you boot it, like, but, I mean, obviously that can be taken off anyway. I mean, I'd take 1800 on it. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. No worries, I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem, mate. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Like I've never bought a car off a pirate before. <laughs> 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 It was still on the phone. I couldn't stop it. The stream recording kept coming up. Well, we better cross that off the list. Oh, f***. He is not phoning us back. He is not phoning us back. Oh, f***. Oh, Chris. Oh, John. So with time and desperation against us, Taylor called up his new mate Cameron from Sterling Cars to find out what they had on offer. Hello. Hello Cameron from Sterling Cars Limited, how are you? Hello, I'm good. We have got a budget of £2,000 to find a reliable, diesel, preferably estate car. Yeah. We, to be honest with you, we don't have many estates. I know, you just turned the piss. Uh, oh, for crying out loud. 520 detouring. Oh, how much that? Um, I could do that for uh, around that. Do you have any Volvos? Or Saabs. Um, no, or Saabs. Or Alpha 159 Sport Wagons. <laughs> no, no. The, to be honest, the only other estate we've got is a uh, Passat. Oh. You've got a Passat estate? Chris has got written off this morning, which is why we're looking for a car. Mechanically, it's fine. Shit on, That's fine. Honest. Chris crashes into stuff all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he crashed into a man with a Lexus this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and a lamppost. Yeah, and yeah. a lamppost. Yeah. And he did it all while not even being in the car. Yeah, yeah I was asleep. <laughs> but oh, so right. was he. What colour is the 520D? It's blue. Oh. oh. It's blue with beige leather and wood trim. Oh. oh. Can you send us some pictures of it, please? Yeah, of course I can. What year is it? Uh, 59. Oh. oh, sorry. It's an N47, is it? Uh, yeah, it will be. Yeah. So, Chris, this is Rory's 535D, finished in Oxford Green with lovely tan leather yeah, interior. Very Do nice you Rory. think that this would be a good car for you? Is well, it too big? Maybe. This is this is the exact car, except that yours would be blue. Yeah. Also, the Passat is slightly narrower. You live in the most disgusting it's road ever. Yeah. And you park right next to, sorry, you park right next to uh, a stone wall yeah. that comes here and you have hit Percy yeah. against that wall. Well, my parking method is you just crunch along the wall, really. Yeah. So. so This is a 5 Series? Yeah. Oh. So it's actually a facelift to Rory's car. Oh. Because it's, got, it's better. It's got the LED rear light. Oh. I can steal them. It's, that is nice. It's blue in colour. That is a very I nice I don't really colour. like the black grills. That's all right. Yeah. Colour, okay, so nice, so nice day, colour. Nice colour. The wheels are Economical. Nice. And do you remember in the Blackpool trip, yeah. our 520D had the fake gear knob on it? Oh, this oh, is the actual one. This one's not the actual, actual, actual one. 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 The real one. It's got Look, the and you've got parking sensors. Yeah, front which is and good rear. good for you. Front <laughs> and rear parking sensors. <laughs> the most important thing was, as good as Percy. Better. I'd better. say this is better. That. Interestingly, Sterling Cars is the same place uh, we bought the Mazda Tribute because yeah. you took down his number, his name was Cameron. Yeah. And then you just phoned him up. And, and said, this has is he got any car. dodgy part X's? We're going to head to Reading now and check out Chris's brand new BMW. Watch your face. Bye. Right, Chris, you excited? We are three minutes away. Yeah, almost there. Yeah? Are you yeah, excited? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing this car. I'm hoping it's nice as Rory's. I mean, it's not hard. <laughs> but it will be hopefully a good two grand BMW 520D 
that's spacious, luxurious, and hopefully reliable. But your track record with cars isn't the greatest. But where you know a man who can fix your car yeah. when it breaks down. Apologies, everyone, that it's another BMW. But the BMW might be crap. Oh, it might so be crap. We might yeah. end up getting something else. You never know. Yeah, we might go to Sheffield for that Alpha. <laughs> what, tonight? Yeah. Right oh, no, he still hasn't found back since Chris Oh yeah, no, that's true. Oh yeah. Uh, anyway, we're a couple of minutes away, so um, yeah. We'll see you back at, what was it called? Sterling Cars. Sterling Car. Okay, so we've just made it to Sterling Cars. Chris, this could be your new BMW 5 Series. What do you think, first impressions? Like the colour. Yeah. Uh, and the inside looks real nice. It does it's look very really comfortable. Nice. Ooh. 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 Oh, that was a nice. inhaler. That's up. There's Once no. Again, there's no fuel there's in no it. No fuel in it. <laughs> oh, now you can see the colour and Cameron the yes. swirl marks. It does have a few swirl. Marks. Are you going to give it a quick machine That's, polish? Um, look, look at the rear end. <laughs> Look at it, it's massive. What's happening? <laughs> I like it because it says, Wabaki! Chris, see if you can get in it for a split tail. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> Listen. Oh, that's the air suspension. That was the air suspension, that works. Chris, you've got air suspension. <laughs> what are we saying? It's got this beautiful leather everywhere. Do you like it? So, Does it feel uh, good? I really like so it. It's yeah, it's, it's very businessman like. Compare this to the Passat. I love Percy though. But there is no comparison. No, this is much nicer. But it's two grand. Yeah, it's Isn't no, less than two grand. Oh, because he's going to fill it up. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Spark plugs need doing, mate. Spark plugs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've, I've heard on diesels they're big also, problems. So this is a later M47. So it's the one that's up to a time and change, but sounds very good. It's got a new crank pulley and new EGR valve. Apologies, another BMW, but Chris wanted a car that met all of his criteria. This does that, and it happens to be a BMW. It's a car that you know very well. You know the engines, you know the ins and outs. So if and when it does go wrong, yeah. Chris will just bring it to Taylor, yeah. and then you'll fix it. And it would have been interesting to buy an Alpha or the Jag, but the Jag didn't reply, and the Alpha and Man Man was pirate. So there's not yeah. really a lot we can do. We exactly. ended up with this. Yeah. So. And we have to buy a car today for Chris, because he has to drive back to the Lake District tomorrow because he's got work next week. Because some people work. Let's go speak to Rory, because Rory actually owns a very similar car and see what he thinks. It's nicer than you mine. Is it? It is a lot nicer. But you have spent a lot of time in your car, obviously, done thousands of miles. Yeah. How does this kind of compare? Yeah, the seats are good, but everything else does feel a bit more newer than mine. Like, it's a bit like my handles or everything are scuffed up. Like What's the mileage like on? 146, 147. This is quite a lot newer than also, this is an LCI, yours is a Prius. Plus, Chris has actually already said that I can have the lights off this. Oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 it's really nice of you. Thanks, Chris. Oh, thank you. I said I could have your wheels off your car. And his engine. Yeah, and his engine. Right. You, don't, you don't want my you engine if you want economy. Cut to driving montage. Do you know what? It feels like an expensive car. Being in it and driving it, it feels expensive. It's got a very smooth gearbox. The engine's, you know, not as smooth as a 530D, but it's it's still smooth. It's nice. So, Chris, ultimately, this is your decision. Um, yeah. You've not. I don't think you've ever owned a car like this, a big luxurious estate, have you? No, I haven't. For the money, it's, it's incredible. I mean, it tick, ticks every box. Like, yeah. Your list of requirements. Every Very single practical one. car. So, what do you yes. reckon, Chris? Shall we hold out his hand? Yeah, I think we're done with some fuel. Yeah, yeah. we need to try and well, get some fuel in a kit car. Right, so there you have it. We started the day with a crash car. Chris was very unhappy. And we have ended the day with Chris's brand new BMW 520D challenge completed. We have found you a car. How do you feel? Amazing. Amazing. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to fill up with diesel, take it home. If you want to see more of this car, then follow Chris on Instagram. Chris underscore the underscore hill. Yes. Chris. Oh, there you ran. You've got yourself a lovely motor. We've got a Kit Kat now. Absolutely not. Can't afford it now. Thanks very much. So after driving one and a half hours back to my place in London, what does Chris think of 5 Series life? I actually feel better now than when I started. <laughs> I, I feel really relaxed. And I've not had that with the daily driver for a long time. It's very, very comfortable, very luxurious. The suspension is spot on. Yeah. And if we have a quick look at the iDrive, 
47.8 MPG. Check the list again. As good as Percy. I feel really bad because injured Percy's over there. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's probably better than Percy. Much better than Percy. Daily, yeah. Economical, yeah. Carry things, including people. Yeah. Yeah, nice colour, really nice colour, isn't it? Yeah. And reliable. reliable. We're going to find that yeah. out. Which is where this fairy tale turns into a bit of a horror movie. Because less than 24 hours later, the notoriously unreliable 2-litre N47 diesel engine decided to spice things up a bit. Oh my god, that, that is bad. It's blasted. That's what it was doing before. Look at that! With a quick look under the bonnet by Taylor and his mate Brad, our worst fears had been realised. The N47 would be uneconomical to repair, and so Chris would have to drive back up to the Lake District in one of my cars until a replacement could be found. Which it was just two days ago at Letchworth Motor Auctions. The same place we bought my Range Rover and Taylor's 520D. So you join us now at the live auction that took place on Wednesday evening this week. The man bidding online none other than Taylor, because we wanted to keep the purchase a surprise for Chris. 525 diesel SE Touring, 2057, tested October 23. Miles Jackson guaranteed with 11 services, 9 of those are BMW dealer stamps. Only 1450 now 75 on mine. At 1475, it has got 15 now. At 1475, look at this car again. 1475, all done. At 1475, goes once, twice, all finished then. At 1475. And so there you have it. Including auction fees, this car was only £1,750. The car in question is this 525D Touring. Fitted with a much more reliable 3-litre M57 six-cylinder diesel engine and a manual gearbox. Now all that's left to do is to tell Chris the good news, which we did last night with a video call. Chris, we've got you a car. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very clean inside and outside. It drives really nicely. It's got a good service history of it, mainly main, uh, main dealer BMW service history. There we go. Look, it's a three litre, Chris. Six cylinders. Awesome. Thank you, Taylor. How oh, about your end? I'm very happy. Thank you very much. It was a great and fun journey. And I had a car that I loved for a day and is now in the bin. <laughs> Can I see inside, please? Of course. Oh, look at that. That's classy. I just need a little bit of a clean, but I can tighten that up. Yeah, I'm going to feel like a premium drug dealer in that. But um, yeah, it looks lovely. Thank you very much. All right, so it is now Saturday, which means this is the first time, Chris, that you are seeing your new motor vehicle. This is now very second exciting. time lucky. Very What's exciting. your first impression? Yeah, it's nice. It's got less dents than the last one. Yeah, it's in very good condition. Yeah, and I'm told it runs. <laughs> yeah. I haven't started it since I brought it back. So. Have you not? Oh, let's start it. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. Yeah, that sounds like an M57 diesel. Chris, you want to get in? Oh, look at this dark wood. That is nice. Oh, leathery. It feels very executive. Yeah. Doesn't it? Very so, business. A business. business. You're business. a business man. I'm late for my meeting, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so I found a feature on this that I didn't realise that it had until I got it back here. Show us. It's got soft oh, oh, what? But that wasn't, we didn't have soft clothes on the broken one, did we? No, it's, it's an optional extra. It might have been on there, but it was broken. Oh, that is so cool. That is Who nice. Knew that existed on a car like this. So <laughs> now this is the official, official, official end of the video.